We're so used and so accustomed to doing things our way and not dying to the flesh or dying to our will and allowing the will of the Father to come forth. So in the, in the process, what happens is there's a tug of war. You're wrestling in the spirit with the spirit and you're losing because guess what? Nothing's happening for you because you won't totally surrender. Nothing's happening for you because you won't totally yield. But when you begin to yield, that's when you begin to see manifestation. When you begin to yield, when you begin to read the word, that's when you begin to see the change begin to take place in your life. Why? God says, all I want you to do is die to the flesh, yield, so that what I promise you can begin to come forth. So catch this. Listening to the word of God over and over and over again builds your faith. Catch what I just said. Listening to the word of God over and over and over again builds your faith. Not only does it build your faith, catch this now, but when you begin to speak the word of God over and over and over again, you begin to believe what you're saying. When you begin to believe what you're saying, it becomes a part of you. And because it becomes a part of you, it can manifest. Why? Because the word says, speak that thing that is not as though it were. And when you begin to speak that thing is not as though it were, in return, manifestation begins to happen in your life. Why? Because you're decreeing now and you're declaring the word of God. But not only that, you feel that thing. And when you begin to feel it, manifestation can happen because now you become engaged. You become connected to it. And see, by you becoming engaged and becoming connected to it, then God can begin to bring it into manifestation. Why? Because now you believe it. Now you decree it. Now you declare it. Now you're walking in a measure of faith. Now, but not only that, but you, you, you mature. See, you, and when you get to that place, you begin to mature. You begin to grow. So now you can begin to decree and to declare the word of God. And in the process of doing so, while you're decreeing and declaring it, other things begin to happen. So not only what you believe God for manifests, but because you're connecting to God now, in return, manifestation begins to happen in other areas of your life. Why? Because the flesh is dying now. And the spirit is coming to life. That's why it says in, 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 in Romans 10, 17, and so, so then... Faith cometh by hearing. So the more you hear, now watch this, it says, and hearing by the word of God. So not only are you hearing, but you're hearing by God's word. So it is the word of God that builds your faith. It is the word of God that shifts you into the next remnant of understanding how God works. When you begin to read the word of God, God begins to give you strategies in his word to maneuver in prayer, to maneuver in worship, to maneuver in, in patiently waiting. He gives you the strategies that you need, and it's he gives you the strategies, manifestations begin to come forth. Because what happens is you begin to understand how to wield the sword. You begin to understand how to worship. You begin to understand how to praise.